Hi there, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have for you a card made using this gorgeous hunky dory It's a Dog's Life set. This one is the French Bulldog and Pug and this isn't part of my remit as a hunky dory design team member. I happened to see this and I just fell in love with it because I have a friend that is absolutely crazy about pugs and so I really wanted to make a card for her using this. So I'm super excited to get going with it. I hope you're going to enjoy it too. So let's get crafting. So this collection comes with two A4 pieces of card and that sheet of toppers that you saw. And I'm starting off with the A4 piece of card that has the pug and I'm scoring it in half to create an A5 card base and I'm using the image on the inside I don't want that one on the outside but I thought it's such a waste to not use it because it's so cute and I think it just adds such a nice interest and look to the inside of the card and when you open it it's just going to be like oh that's too cute and so I just think it really is nice to have something on the outs inside as well as the outside so next we're going to go on to the outside of our card and I'm taking the other A4 piece of card that's in the collection this one has the French Bulldog on it but we're not going to actually use that that half what I'm doing is I'm putting some tape on the front of the card this is a lot easier than trying to cut the card to size because all you do is you stick your piece of card down and then you're going to take your trimmer or a pair of scissors whichever you prefer and you're going to cut the excess off a5 is a fiddly uh, size to cut to size so it's much easier to do it this way and we've not used obviously the little dog but we've got this lovely gorgeous pattern on the front which works really well with our little pug and its frames so here you'll see the little frames and the pug I've popped them out of the topper sheet and I've separated them and I'm going to start off by sticking the middle frame just the little gold one the thin one down you flat onto my card base and I'm just using my hunky dory construction glue there that I like using a wet glue whether it's that or my cosmic shimmer whichever because it um, gives me a little bit of wriggle time so it's quite helpful to make sure you get it in the right place and then it sticks down like once it's dry it's like really well stuck so then for the next frame which is the sort of larger frame um, in fact I think it's the only other frame thinking about it um, I'm using a layer of foam tape now the foam strips that came were a little bit wide for this so I just cut them in half um, the other thing was that because I cut them in half it gave me a little bend ability in the foam so it means you don't have to cut lots of tiny tiny pieces of foam you can cut slightly longer strips and just gently bend them around the curve then you want to stick that down so obviously it mats in line with your frame that's already down now ovals are a little bit fiddly you do need to make sure that they are lined up correctly it, because otherwise then it will look awful so just put them down lightly and then just press once you're absolutely sure then I've got my little pug here and I've put a single layer of foam on the back and then I've peeled the backing off and then I'm going to add another layer of foam so that basically I've got a frame that's flat to the to the card base then a frame that's a single layer of foam and then my main image popped up a little bit more again with two layers of foam and I think that just adds that extra bit of dimension it's not super thick foam anyway so it's not like really super high but it's just a just a little bit of extra dimension which I think works really well I then popped out this little pug kind of information thing that they put on there and it's just a really cute little extra but I'm really rubbish when I've got things like this when I don't need the foam in place it's working out where I need to put the foam so what I do is I mark on the back as you saw with a pencil and then I draw the line together so I remember where I don't want to put the foam now you could also add a bit of um, wet glue um, or tape to the top edge personally I don't think it's necessary it's going to stick and stay stuck perfectly fine with your foam and all I'm doing then is I'm just sliding it over the single layers because it's matching the level of the frame so I'm just sliding it over that and then slightly under the actual pug itself that little frame um, sentiment flag not frame I've just got frames on the mailing now is actually one that I 
created using my Cricut machine, but you could easily do that on your computer and type it out and print it out and then use a die to make a flag. However you want to do it, you could even do those by hand. But I just thought it was really cute to have that sentiment saying, have a very merry Pugmas. I just thought I added something to make it Christmassy. So then I'm taking my little twine here and you'll see I created two little ears. I crossed it over and then tightened it you can see now those little bunny ears are a bit big so then you want to hold the knot in the center nice and firm and gently pull your little tails till you get your bunny ears to slightly smaller than you want because once you've got it to, to where you want it to be you're going to pull it tighter and that obviously just makes it a bit bigger but by doing this you'll by holding that knot in the center what you're doing is stopping those little bunny ears from twisting as you tighten them so then once you've got it to how you want it you're just going to cut those tails to the length and then I'm using some of that construction glue and just carefully sticking that in place you could use a little uh sticky dot or whatever you want but that's what I did for that and then also on my Cricut I cut out this cute little Santa hat again what I'll do with this is I will make a note for you of the actual image that I used and I may even be able to put the download there for you I'll see if I'm able to do that so that you can see exactly what image that is but it was a really cute little hat that works on a lot of things actually and obviously that's the right size I managed to work it out to be the right size for that little pug so all I did was then use my construction glue just on the hat part not on the bobble or anything and I stuck him down then I took this lovely little um, white glue pen that I had from a hunky dory as well and I put the white glue over the white parts of the hat um, and its little bobble there and then I've added some glitter just to add again a little Christmas feel adding the hat obviously makes him really Christmassy but then adding some glitter well you can't go wrong with glitter at Christmas can you so then I'm just leave it for about a minute because white glue I find is really helpful just to leave it um, to let that glitter absorb you saw I put quite a lot on because it kind of absorbs down into that glue and then just with a little brush I took any excess off and then my final little touch is adding some of those little glitter gems again these are from hunky dory but they matched really well these goldy colored ones matched with the gold foiling that was on the card already and just to help they are self-adhesive but I always like to add a bit of glue as well because I want to be absolutely 100% that they're not going to move so I put three in the bottom left corner and then one in each of the other corners again it just adds a little bit of extra Christmas glitz and glam to the card and that was it and I just think it looks so cute and then when you open it up you've still got that extra pug you could add another little Christmas hat on the inside if you wanted to I think you could get away with it but uh, otherwise that is it and as I say I just thought that looked really cute I hope you do too I really enjoyed making it so and I know that my friend will love it because as I say she loves pugs she's got loads of little pugs well it seems like she's got loads um, but uh, yeah so I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this card uh, I'd love to hear what you think and as always there will be tons of photos on the blog post so do make sure you go on across to there you'll find the link in the paragraph below this video so you just go on there and you'll be able to click across to that and it will also have links to all the products used as well for you okay so I hope you've enjoyed if you have I'd love you to subscribe to my youtube channel or even better to my website where you get a email every time there is a video so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye <laughs>